Good grief, look at the size of these emus. Did, did you guys see the size of that chicken? <laughs> uh, hey honey, um, so I forgot to tell you something we were coming to pick up. No. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I'm getting a bright and early start on the day at the time change. I hate it. This time change goes into effect. It gets dark so early in the evening, but on the bright side, it gets daylight early. So it's about 7 a.m. and uh, we're getting around. DJ and I are going to go to the gym this morning. We got to drop the kids off at school, but I've got the livestock trailer hooked up to the truck because we're going to go over to see Marie from Random Oki Farms and pick up DJ's other two little Jennies. That's we took two Jennies over there to get bread to uh, Brandon, which Marie's little Jack, his name is Brandon. He's a spotted Jack. That's uh, the father to Bree, which is the little baby that uh, Freedom had. However, there's a little bit more to the story. So Marie came out the other day. We've kind of been talking about a few things and Marie came out and uh, looked and decided that she wanted our friend Jerry. So Jerry, the big dark colored alpaca back there is our, our male that we bought to replace Rufus. Look at these two. Steve, man, I don't think she's interested, dude. He's going to keep trying though. Anyways, we bought Jerry to replace Rufus after we lost him, you know, but then it's just, we've only got one female alpaca that we really could even breed right now. Um, Reba's too small. Well, obviously as she gets older, she could breed, but uh, her mom, Lucy's got really bad hip problems and we've been to the vet, had the vet out multiple times and I just don't feel like it's a good idea to breed her anymore. And that just leaves Tina, but uh, I don't know. We've kind of debated. We probably won't be breeding alpacas anymore. Tina may be pregnant now. Look at these three. Tina may be pregnant, um, but that would be the only only future baby that we may have in the alpaca in the alpaca realm. So this morning I've got to try to get Jerry caught and uh, put a halter on him. These guys are just just getting after it. Jerry's like, could you guys go somewhere else and? do that nonsense because i'm just standing here trying to eat my hay bale look at him he's like shh get away go somewhere else jerry's like get a room you two <laughs> what what do y'all want hmm y'all enjoying the beautiful weather today jerry come on down here bro Come on, Jerry. You want a little uh, breakfast? Come on. Come on, buddy. You're good. You wanna go see Marie? Hmm? Come on. <laughs> Come on. You're all right. Let me shut the gate behind you. Jerry, we're gonna miss you, buddy. <laughs> He's a man of few words. Yeah, he don't say much. <laughs> Except to Steve, he likes to. He, he does. Likes to yell at Steve. He does. <laughs> you reckon you can do this on your own, or am I gonna have to like boost you? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. Come on. There you go. Oh gosh, you're heavy. There you go. Come on. Step up there. There, there you, go. you go. Good job. Take this rope off. See you at Marie's, Jerry. <laughs> He doesn't even hum much. <laughs> he will sometimes. Yeah, not very often though. Ooh. 
Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had an alpaca. Like none of them. If you get close to their head, they freak out. A lot they of don't, like it. don't like it either. No. He's he very pretty. So cool. <laughs> he's not noisy. No, he's not near as vocal as Rufus was. Mm -mm. Like when, when we had Rufus, if anything out of normal showed up, like if mm -hmm. we brought in a different animal or somebody came with a different dog, he mm -hmm. would just that high pitched squeal they do nonstop. Just he was always yelling. Yeah. But you saw how RJ is, so. <laughs> yeah. He's ornery. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to get um. <laughs> You're good. You're gonna run hey, off. Jerry. You're gonna run away. I hope so. I hope he runs away and is excited. <laughs> oh no. You check out the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jerry, check it out. Look, man. It's Charlie and other Charlie. That's cool, right? Hey there. Those are big Charlies. <laughs> Listen to him drumming. What's up? Y'all ever met Charlie? You remember him? That's where Charlie came from. Maybe his parents. Hmm. All right. We got Jerry tucked away into his new pasture. And uh, on to the other reason we're here. Yay! The girls are coming home. The girls are back. Yep. The girls are back in town. Yep. They've uh, been hanging out with their buddy Brandon. I think it's like he's a... Uh, saying some goodbyes right now. <laughs> Look at these little guys. They're just like cows, but way smaller. <laughs> some little mini zebus. She got a baby. Don't be getting no ideas. I don't have any. They were These are way smaller than the mini cows you bought. <laughs> Yours were not mini. No. They were just smaller, big Herefords. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Good grief, look at the size of these emus. Did, did you guys see something? Chicken? <laughs> uh, that's the world's largest emu right there, I'd say. I'm kidding, obviously. Marie also has uh, ostriches. We don't want no ostriches, nope. Nope, we don't need a, a bird that's taller than me. Jeez, you're big. My goodness. Listen, here's the thing. I'm six foot three. That guy, he's like eight foot six. We don't need a bird that big. <laughs> hey, honey. Um, so I forgot to tell you something we were coming to pick up. No. I'm going to have to cut a hole in the top of the trailer, but. You might have to find somewhere else to stay for the night then. <laughs> just, just one night? No, multiple. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want one of those. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. Uh oh. Man, that donkey's got weird horns. <laughs> girls, watch out for the big bird. Watch out. Come on, girls. Just go hop in. It'll be alright. You got it. You got it. It's that first step that'll get you, girls. Come on. Oh, she's trying to get out. <laughs> Looky there, easy enough. Oh, good girls. Way to go. <laughs> hey, Brandon, uh, we appreciate your hard work and all the things you did for us, buddy. I know you got other girlfriends to worry about, but uh, thanks for your hard work. Jerry! Hey, Marie said she's going to find you some girlfriends. Good talk. All right, have fun. See you, dude. Hold on back there, donkeys. We're almost home. Pick up your feet. We're fixing to get in the water. All righty. Well, we made it home with the, uh, the two girls. And uh, as far as Jerry goes, um, Marie came out the other day and wanted to see the animals and check everything out. And she just kind of fell in love with Jerry. And 
she's thinking about getting a few or a couple female alpacas and thought, well, might as well start off with, with a good male. And she just, like I said, she, Marie's awesome. So go check her out. If you want to follow along with Jerry's future adventures and what all Marie has going on with him, uh, random Oaky farms on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Marie has all kinds of interesting, cool animals and she does a lot of, she goes to exotic animal auctions and sales. Hey, bro, RJ, you being a temperamental today anyway so before i unload these girls i think i want to switch i talked about this the other day i want to put the goats back over in this pasture because the donkeys and alpacas that are in here are much harder on the grazing and uh that wheat is just they've they've grazed it down pretty short already we're having like the most beautiful weather temperatures in the 70s and 80s a little too warm but it sure does help that green that green winter grass grow. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to feed the goats into one of these small pens right up here and lock them up, then turn the donkeys, just bring them over into here and then switch a rooski. Good plan. It's never it, it can't fail, right? Can't fail. Hey Charlie. Hey, come here. Don't run off. I'm talking to you. Hang on, girls. Hang on. Charlie, dude. Uh, dude or ma'am, I'm not real sure, honestly, but we got to meet your mom and dad a while ago. Yeah. DJ was kind of impressed with your mom's drumming capabilities. You been laying in the mud? You're filthy. You and Pepper been having, like, mud pie wars or something? Listen. You'll all need to listen to Copper. Follow Copper's lead and these two little girls. Here, let me put a little more food in there. All right, come on. Set up some panels and got them fed into this space. Look out behind you, Mom. They gonna come out. All right, so now all we gotta do is open up that other gate funnel them in there because I got to get them out of this space okay easy peasy nothing ever goes wrong okay huh Charlie everything always goes our way as to plan that hurts buddy that hurts I'll get you by the neck I'll choke you out you want to go all right goats rotate let's go into the little pen <clears throat> excuse me into the little pen come on copper don't be hard-headed. Come on. Shh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See, this is you being hard-headed, Copper. Lambert. Come on now. Come on. All right. Shut the gate. Get your butt in, Lambert. Good work. All right, girls. This is super simple, okay? I just need you to switch pastures. Rotate. Oh, didn't get open. All right. Come on in. Curiosity killed the donkey. Right? Uh oh, we got feet here. So I'm moving. Freedom. Jump in the line. Let's go. Come on. Somebody tell the alpacas. They're slow learners. There you go. Good job. You told them, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Reba. Follow suit. Follow the donkeys. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Tina. Nice tooth, man. I see freedom. I ain't worried about it. We'll get them. Come on. There you go. Perfect. 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 Look at that. See? Sometimes these animals make me look like I know what I'm doing. Sometimes they make me look like a fool. You know. Look at that duck. Yeah. How's the view from the top? That good, huh? Okay. So now, what's next? You got this. Goats. Release the demons. Release the demons. 
you got to stand on the outside of this so that they don't get through the panel. So just open that gate. Yeah. You just stand guard. Look, RJ's like, let me out of here. In here with all these stinking goats. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think you need any more feed. I can tell by the uh, <clears throat> broadness of your back. <laughs> You've been eating well. Come on, Lambert. Let's go. Lambert's always last. That's there's a book. And, you know, I read a book. Oh, well, I listened to it on Audible. You know, leaders eat last. Lambert thinks she's a leader. <laughs> we gonna let her think that. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. They're all so confused. They're like, wait, dude, you what? What are we doing? Yeah. Come on now. Here. Yeah. Let's go. Out the gate. Out the gate you go. Come on, RJ. You can't stay with the with the other alpacas. I'm sorry, dude. You got to stay with your goat friends. Look at this. Oh, I'm like goat herding champion. I should get an award. Oh my gosh. Yep. Super simple, super easy. No big deal. Goats are so easy. Listen, what have you had trouble out of my animals today? None. Today. I said today. That's yeah. all we're talking about. Uh-huh. Because your goats have a problem 90% of the time. They're goats, duh. Well, they're yours. Are you ready for the big suspenseful reveal? Yes. I wonder what's in the trailer. Oh, ow. I'm on barbed wire. Charlie's curious. Oh, hey, this will be Charlie's first time meeting him. I know. He's never actually met these two girls. All right, girls. Oh, look at y'all. Surprise. Welcome home, girls. So glad you could join us again. Charlie's still not sure. I think he missed it. I'm more interested in the trailer than the donkey. Yeah, oh, donkey. look at it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, they look just like freedom. Two more freedoms. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. I won't be mean to you. What? What is it, Pepper? Look at Pepper. Oh my gosh. Alright, girls are all making reintroductions and Farah's trying to assert her dominance here. Phoebe, she's just going to be in mom's pocket. Huh. Phoebe's like, where's the treats? Oh. Farah is our, uh, <laughs> let's say, uh, aggressive eater. <laughs> she pushes everybody, you know, around when it's feeding time. She thinks she's the, uh, the dominant female in the herd but with two older gray genies coming back to the house she's probably gonna get put in her place a little bit maybe but i don't know because these two are pretty passive they are they that's are true passive so and freedom could care less well she just got after fair a little bit she like <laughs> nosed her like back up all right so girls are doing their thing uh Freedom and her baby are up there with Steve. Freedom and Steve are, you know, they're kind of a, an item. Steve's actually nose to nose with Bree. And you realize, I, I didn't think about it, but this is the first time Steve's met Bree. That is. They've never been fence to fence. Well, he's not her dad. I, okay, but still, it's the first time oh, he's well, been you, up close to her. you said that, I thought you were. I know, but I'm just, I well, know, I'm just saying, like, it's the first time Steve's got to go nose to nose with Bree. Look at that, I missed it. Her kicking at her. Yeah. Oh, see, she's, she's like telling her though. Farrah's like, I want to be the big yeah. mean one, but I'm just a little bit scared. Yeah. Well, honey, your donkey herd's all back together. They are. Everybody's in one place again. Sure. Poor Steve over there, he's like, ah. <laughs> Should we what? Should we put Fancy in here or just leave her with him? Uh, I'll probably, when I'm feeding one day, I'll probably lock her up down here and then just open the gate and let her back in here. She's been with Steve for... I think since 
since August. Yeah, plenty long enough to get bread. And uh, they're just kind of doing their thing over there. So, animals are good. Everybody's good here. Got the goats back in their pasture. They can graze on that green wheat. The wheat pasture behind the house uh, that I, you know, I just used that uh, Ironcraft cedar, not even cedar, just fertilizer spreader and spread all that wheat seed out. That stuff is like two, three inches tall and thick, but nothing's grazing yet. I'm going to try to let it grow for several weeks and then just open it for a day or two at a time. Let the, uh, the, the goats back into that pasture and then this pasture where the goats are at will probably grow up. They're not going to be grazing it completely short. So I'll probably let the donkeys graze that weed a little bit and just move animals around and try to rotate. Obviously this pasture is only, it's just going to be sacrificed to overgraze, but, uh, it's winter. They're going to eat mostly hay and a little grain and you know, all the things. But, uh, in other news, we're thinking about, I think we've made a decision to move our Christmas merch launch date up a week. Almost everything's ready to go. Uh, got a call, a text message yesterday, and we should be able to pick up our pecans um, either this evening or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I'm filming this on Tuesday, so we're thinking we'll be able to launch on Friday. But we still haven't shown them everything. You want to run in there and kind of sure. show them a few things? Yeah. Let's do it. So DJ ran up to the house to uh, grab a few things that we've already got open that, instead of opening new stuff to show you guys. But we do have the shop completely overran with merchandise stuff. And I think part of the reason we're wanting to move this launch date up is to try to get you guys these pecans out so that you have plenty of time to have them for Thanksgiving. Everyone's been asking about getting them, you know, getting them shipped out and to you guys with plenty of time to make some pecan pies for Thanksgiving. So we're bumping it up from November 17th to uh, the 10th. I think Friday's the 10th. And um, yeah, so just about everything's here. I think she's waiting on one toboggan not a big deal uh, maybe it'll be in this week maybe not but we're wanting to go ahead and bump that up but uh, I did yesterday stop by the merch building and we got the floors all done uh, we were covering it with paper uh, we're just it's just going to be regular concrete sealed like a high gloss finish on the concrete but also um, my buddy went and loaded up that little uh, portable shed for us a little loafing shed so we're working on getting that pasture that couple acres fenced in over there and we can take a few donkeys and alpacas or whatever we decide to take over there. I know some of you have con some concerns about their an about the animal safety over there. Listen, we're going to put up cameras, do everything we can to make sure everything's protected. But anyways, check this out. Well, look what made it here. <laughs> Our shed made it here on the wrecker. And uh, obviously we don't have everything fenced in yet, but we'll get there. We're just going to set it off here on the ground. And as light as that thing is, I can bring a tractor and just move it around wherever we need it. Pretty simple shed is in here i can move it around with the tractor anytime there's really not a lot to it i mean we can pick it up not pick it up but hook onto it and drag it wherever we want around this field wherever dj decides she wants it and uh set the panels up in front of it and use it as a catch pen as a feed pen and then when we want to when we want to load donkeys or alpacas or whatever animals here and take them back home super simple while we're here why don't we go and check out the the floor in the merch building because uh the guy that was doing all the flooring for us is finished and uh, came in and put a bunch of paper down to protect the floor, but we ran out. So got to go to Lowe's and get some more paper. So how about brown floors? Brown paper flooring. Isn't that fancy? Um, it's just temporary to protect the floor. But So all we did was a sealer on the concrete and uh, he's going to come back after everything's done. We're going to finish putting paper down in the living quarters. Don't get, I mean, don't think we want. We want to protect the floor before the sheetrock guys and everything. Plumber, he's got to come in and do his thing. But uh, it's not perfect. But remember, we were going for like an industrial look. That's why 
exposed ceilings. We're going to have exposed ductwork, but uh, it's pretty and it is uh, nice and slick. I mean, obviously it has its imperfections and you can see lines and stains and all of that. We didn't do any kind of stain or anything. It's just a, a seal and he's going to come back after everything's done and wax and polish it for us real good. And uh, I think it'll be cool. It looks it looks good. It's that look that we were going for. DJ wanted, like I said, an industrial look. So, like, you know, the guy was like, oh, are you sure you don't, you, there's stains and there's tire marks from skid, you know, skid steer from the forklifts. And we were like, nope, that's what we want. It looks good. I like it. So as far as updates over here, there's, there's really nothing else to update. Um, electricians are finishing up. They've got a few other things to do. Still no word from the power company on when they're going to for sure be here. They said February, February, oh gosh, I hope not. November 20th at the earliest, but we'll see. I don't know. So, not many updates. Sheetrock guys can't do their thing until, you know, the electricians are done, the plumber's done. Um, and then after, you know, before we even sheetrock it, I've got to come in and insulate this divider wall. We're going to go ahead and put some insulation up on those exterior walls behind where the sheetrock's gonna go. Even though we have two inches of spray foam, I just don't think you're gonna over insulate a building. So that's what we're gonna do. Add a little bit of insulation in the walls, in the living quarters. Yeah. All right, DJ wanted to show you guys everything that's, uh, this is quick sneak peek at what's gonna be available on the Christmas launch. So you're seeing this on Thursday. We're gonna be launching this live on our website on Friday. Yes. November 10th. Yes. Okay. All right, let's yeah. go through this real quick. Yeah. What all you got? Do we know what time? No. We're just winging it? We're gonna do a live stream just like we did last year. We'll get home from the gym probably about 11-ish. You wanna shoot for 12 o'clock live stream on Friday? Sounds good. That'll be our plan. Live 12 stream, 12 o'clock central time. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is the Do Your Best sweatshirt. It has been embroidered here. It's real pretty and then it has this lace up side which is super cute you can loosen it tighten it whatever yeah love it love it okay yeah okay christmas <laughs> look here back by popular demand charlie the emu he's even got a star on his head he That's does funny. so charlie's on our christmas shirt this year it's a long sleeve yep. like a lightweight unisex shirt so yeah it's it's a grayish shirt but on the bigger sizes we had to do white because we couldn't get the same color yeah inventory is like still hard to come by x, i believe yeah so four and five x that shirt will be in white pretty sure pretty sure those are the only two sizes okay um yeah, let me get this on. Another Christmas shirt? Yes, I love this one. We usually only do one holiday shirt. I know, but I just love this design. So, and it's not, it doesn't have to be just Christmas. No, I agree. But, it doesn't. I mean, at least the, the tree back here doesn't have lights on it or anything, but. Yeah. Faith but, Family Farming, Arms Family Homestead. Yes. Love Long it. sleeve. Uh, it's one of the comfort it's color comfort brand color, yes, shirts. Love Everybody it. loves the comfort color shirts. Yes. Okay. We actually did two zip hoodies this year. Our audience bags for zip up yes. hoodies instead of a pullover hoodie yeah zip so we up did one for do your best which is here it's got DJ's the little, normal logo with her donkey little on there donkey on it and these are the best um typically i'm a medium girl or medium and just about everything but i size down on these um because they, they run a little bit big and i have a sweatshirt on right now so but if you're going to wear it like a jacket and you may have a sweatshirt or a yeah. long sleeve shirt or something under it you may not want to size down but yeah i mean i mean that's a small and you typically small, typically wear a medium so yeah and i have a sweatshirt and a t-shirt on so um, it's perfect for layering up yep it sure is and here's the here's the hoodie yep Farm oh, family yeah. homestead hoodie i love the color. I yeah. love what you picked out. I know. I do too. Green. Hmm. I actually like pick the color out before we pick the design because I just love this color. Um, we also are doing these in youth, just like this. Yep. You saw identical hoodie, same logo, same color in youth sizes. Yes. I think that's the only youth yes, that you did this time, only, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have other youth t-shirts that we've already Right. But that's worn. the only new. Yes. 
And then we did this black AFH. AF. AF, Arms Family Homestead. AF. AF. And it's also down the sleeve, which is super cool. Yep, Arms Family Homestead on the sleeve. Yep. Cool, black. Black, super nice. There you and go. We, yep. Uh, we have a hat, a new hat. We, we do, do have a new hat. hat. There's one right there. Oh, it's right here. Nope. That's an old hat. That's an old hat. Here's the new hat. Right here. Look at that. Pssh. You know, we had to do green. People like green. I don't know. <laughs> it's what they like to buy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you like us to buy. <laughs> and we... Oh, over here. Follow me. I'll meet you in the middle. I need you to open I, 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 I need don't. something to open. I don't have... You are not prepared. I'm not. Here's a knife. Okay. So we got these. They are metal. Love them. I did go with a different company this year than I did last year. And I will say I like these a lot better. Yeah. To me, they're a lot thicker, heavier made cup. Yes. And the logo is a lot bigger. Yes. So you I just agree. did do your best? No. Oh, lucky there. It's on both sides. Oh, yeah. Much better than the ones last year. Yes. I was, I mean, I, I was so disappointed they didn't turn out the way I wanted them, but we bought, you know, a couple hundred. Yes. These so, are nice, though. These, yeah. Really love these. I actually got with my sister-in-law and was like, hey, what cups did y'all use over there at Cross Timbers Bison? So she hooked me up. Yep. And the reason we do the tin, the metal cups is just for shipping, shipping purposes. Yeah. If we were going to do all these in ceramic, uh, I just didn't feel like it was a great idea as far as... Well, because they, Getting don't, them there. they don't come to us individually boxed. Right. We would have to packed. have them packaged where they would survive shipping. So. Yes. And that would that would be extremely time consuming and we couldn't get packages out near as fast. And we don't want a bunch of broken cups. That's true. Um, and here's our blankets. Back by popular demand. Yes. Everybody loves the blankets every year. Did navy blue. So we've done camo in the past. We've done gray in the past. And red check. And then last year I did a green. Do your best. We'll do your best. On yeah. You. So. But this year is navy. It's the same logo that's on the green hoodie. The hoodie. Yes. Yep. And, and these are like a. These blankets are just. Everybody loves them. And I do too. Everybody. It's literally like it's, a hoodie. It's like a sweatshirt material. Yes. And it's big. Yes. For tall people, it doesn't. You it's know, not too short. Not too short. <laughs> yeah. But this logo is really big, which I'm excited about. Yeah. It's bigger than what we've done in the past. So. Anyway. What else you got? So, we have two toboggans that are not here yet, unfortunately. And I think one might be, I'm not sure. So, when those are here and available, if they're on the website, then they're available. They'll uh, know on Friday by the yeah, live stream. Yeah, you'll know on Friday. Um, and I'm hoping the calendars are going to be in by Friday. Yep. That's the plan, hopefully. They are on order. They're being made. They've been made. They're but even order. if they're not here by Friday, they will be here by the time we start packaging orders. Yes. We won't start packing orders probably until Monday. Right. So So if you want to still, like, if they're on the website, order them. I mean, that's just kind of how I'm doing on those. Yep. So they will be on the website. They're available for purchase. Cool beans. Yep. And, and lots of pecans. And lots of pecans. Lots and lots and lots of pecans. Yes. I mean, we've been overwhelmingly blown away by the... Uh, number response. of people wanting to buy pecans. Yes. So on the first run, let's say, we're going to call it the first run of pecans. We're trying to do it in batches so that we can get them here as quickly as possible. Um, but I think I think the the processor is bagging two thousand packages of pecans. So two thousand one pound bags. We're only going to be selling them on our website in one pound bags. But you can buy as many as you want if you want more, obviously. Um, but we will get more. It's just not going to be until after that, you know, after this batch is sold out, which here's the thing. 2,000 sounds like a lot to, to us. But based off the number of comments on and our emails. video and the number of emails yes. we got, if you want pecans for Thanksgiving, I, 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 I'm not trying to be salesy, but you, you might want to purchase them on Friday, like yeah. the day they go on sale, because they may sell out fast. We've had tons of people say they're going to buy five, 10 pounds of pecans. Yeah. A lot of people are wanting to buy them to give as gifts and things. Mm -hmm. So if 2,000 pounds sells out in the first couple of days, we will be getting more. I just don't think we we'll have them. We don't know how fast. Right, we won't have them in time to get them mm -hmm. to you guys for Thanksgiving. Yes. So one other thing you wanted to mention. One other thing. We are, we have some 
overstock or leftover stock, I guess you would say. And I'm going to mark, well, I'm not marking it down. You just have to use a code for 30% off. And all of the, all of the previous, all of the previous stuff, because I want to get rid of everything. So it's less stuff for us to move to the merch building, hopefully with like within a couple months. Right. So, um, so we're putting any old stuff on sale. Um, and you, you use the promo code AFH30 and in the checkout. Yeah. So. So that's on all the old inventory. And there's a lot of things like we bought a bunch of the Bella t-shirts because we sold literally hundreds. So we still have some Bella t-shirts and you know, there's going to be limited sizes available on some of the stuff, obviously. So if you're buying Christmas launch merch stuff, so a lot of this stuff's already marked down. So they're going to get 30% off of what it's already marked down at. So yeah. we're just, we don't want to have to move old inventory to the new building. So Christmas, we're trying to get rid of everything. Yes. Oh, I'm, oh. I also ordered, um, everyone, all the ladies love the Stanley's, the Stanley cups or whatever. Well, when I do big cups or whatever, I use uh, Arctic. Uh, the company Arctic and they do a phenomenal job on customization and anyway I just love those cups so I actually ordered the Stanley's from Arctic with our logo on them. That's like saying I ordered some Nike Reebok shoes. <laughs> well, You just use two brand names. I understand but <laughs> to give reference it's got a handle and it's a 30 ounce cup and it's got a straw and it's got do your best logo on it. So Where are those at? They're not here yet. <laughs> you know. They will be. They will be. So anyway, I'm excited to get those in. So there you have it. Armsfamilyhomestead.com. The merch launch will be live on Friday, November 10th. And uh, last year, I'm just going to tell you guys, last year when we launched, we did a live stream just like we're going to do on Friday. We had over a thousand orders in the first hour. So, I mean, we, we, it's just hard to know how much inventory to buy. As you can see, we bought a ton of inventory, but there will be sizes that sell out in that first hour just like they did last year right yeah it's just part of the game and uh, we can get more but it, it's just going to kind of depend on we're probably not going to do a, a big second batch this time like we've done in the past because we bought so much the first time but uh we'll see how it goes um in other news i did get a text from sarah uh cameraman ron's wife this morning and she said that uh things are things are looking better but very little i guess is probably the best way to put it they're still yeah. doing dialysis they did try to wake him up a little bit today um but every time they try to wake him up he's got a ventilator in i mean he's been unconscious and on the vent in icu for over a week now mm -hmm. and every time they try to wake him up his blood pressure spikes he gets anxious and uh they have to medicate him to so he doesn't panic mm -hmm. and so they're having some issues there but they are doing dialysis every day i get or every other day i'm not exactly sure but uh we're planning some things for, for old Captain Ron. Um, something that, that DJ and I are working on. It's nothing's been finalized yet, but we're going to try to do a fundraiser T-shirt to help them out. Um, Ron and Sarah, my arms hurt. I got to switch arms. Ron and Sarah are both self-employed. They work very hard, but they are self-employed. They do wedding photography, wedding videography. Ron's a DJ, plus their YouTube channels. They do all kinds of stuff. But you got to understand. Both of them being self-employed, he may not be able to work for months. Yeah. And so we're going to do a fundraiser t-shirt, like some sort of team CMR, kind of like when Kentucky Ballistics got hurt. I thought I had his shirt on, but this is actually some other guy <laughs> keeping it, keeping it, uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, that just put a thumb in it shirt. You know, they did that as a fundraiser for when Scott got hurt. Um, and it was really cool to see that whole gun channel community come together and really support one. Uh, one of the channels that couldn't work. So, we're not finalized yet. We don't even have a design yet, but it's probably going to be like a pre sale in late November ish mm -hmm. for about 10 days. And I'm trying, I'm reaching out to as many channels as I know that have collaborated and worked with Ron for everybody to promote this thing. We're going to sell them on Ron's website. It won't be done through our website at all, no. but we will take the inventory and do all of the fulfillment. And I'm hoping. I'm hoping, <laughs> as usual, that this will be our first big event in the new merch building. And in saying that, there's a good chance we may sell 
a couple thousand t-shirts yeah that we will have to pack and process and ship so hopefully we'll have our new merch building up and running and that will be our first big thing in there and if if that all comes to fruition we'll let you guys know um just as a fundraiser to help out a family that's they you know they're not asking for help but i know they're they're going to be needing all the help they can get and um it's just the least we can do so anyways all that's to come we'll keep you guys in the loop uh ron is making some improvements but it's very very slow still on a ventilator still unconscious it's not a good situation so anyways um we got some other things in plan in planning for his youtube channel too because we all know youtube content creators make money off their videos and that's how they make a living and we want to keep that channel going we want to help them so i've got some plans there too anyways guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video